Chapter 2 was about organizing data. In this chapter, we showed how to make visual displays of quantitative information. Question 1. A bookstore recorded the following sales last month by John Ray. Fiction, 776. Nonfiction, 1,281. Children, 643. Electronic media, 296. Create a Pareto chart displaying this information. First, give it a try on your own, and to verify your answer, we'll go to the next slide. This shows the Pareto chart of sales by John Ray from nonfiction, fiction, children's, and electronic media. This is what your results should look like. Question two. A college registrar recorded the number of students receiving a grade of incomplete. The results for the past 24 quarters are below. Make a frequency table with five classes showing class boundaries, class midpoints, frequencies, relative frequencies, and cumulative frequencies. Part B. Draw a relative frequency histogram from the information in Part A. First, give this a try on your own, and to verify the results, we'll go to the next slide. The class width should be calculated at 15. Provided the class width, your frequency table and relative frequency table should look as follows. You'll notice there's a column for frequency, relative frequency, and cumulative frequency on the end. The histogram, the relative frequency histogram of incomplete grades should look like this. There's five classes and they have the following boundaries. Notice the title and labels provided for the axes. Number three, the Humanities Division recorded the number of students signed up for the Study Abroad program each quarter. The results are, create a stem and leaf display of the data. First, give it a try on your own, and to verify the results, Take a look at the next slide. The stem and leaf of study abroad students is shown below. N, which is the total sample size, is 20, and the leaf unit is 1. Question number 4. The price of gold for 12 consecutive weeks is shown below. Make a time series graph for these data. First, try it on your own, and then to verify the results, go to the next slide. This is what the result should look like, a time series plot of the price of gold. The horizontal axis is the time in weeks, and the vertical axis is the price of gold. Question number five. A college senior class has 5,000 students. Their, graduating, their graduation forms list their chosen major. There are 800 who chose social science, 400 who chose science, 1,100 who chose humanities, 1,400 who chose computer-related majors, 900 who chose engineering, and 400 who have yet to fill their major. Make a circle graph to display this information. First, try it on your own, then to verify the results, go to the next slide. This is what your results should look like, the circle graph of a chosen major. Notice that the percentage is taken into consideration of the entire sample size of 5,000. Question 6. The school administration would like to know who is taking the city bus to school. A survey showed that the buses held 61% freshmen, 25% sophomores, 12% juniors, and 2% seniors. Make a circle graph of this information. First, try it on your own, 
Then to verify the results, go to the next slide. This is what your graph should look like, the circle graph of bus riders. As the information is provided, 61% freshmen, 25% sophomore, junior is 12%, senior is 2%. So here, the percentages were already provided, and they did not need to be calculated from a specific proportion. Question number seven. The following is a list of diameters in millimeters of holes produced by an assembly line machine. Create a stem and leaf display for these data and describe the distribution. First, try it on your own, then verify the results on the next slide. The stem and leaf of diameter, the total sample size is n equals 16. Here, we only have one digit, but with a decimal. So the leaf unit is 0 0.10. So the left-hand side shows the stem, the right-hand side shows the leaf, and the line is ultimately the decimal point. To, to interpret the stem and leaf display, the distribution is fairly symmetrical with a center near 2.6 millimeters. 